Hello, myself uh, Abhijit Dev, and uh, today we are going to start uh, the second part of uh, the second video on the living world. And before that, uh, we are uh, in the topic of what is living. And before that, uh, today, before starting today's lesson, uh, last in the previous uh, video, we have studied about uh, the reproduction. A bit about uh, the uses or some characters about uh, of uh, reproduction. So, and uh, today we will be starting the uh, subtopic that is another characteristic of life is metabolism. So, at first uh, we have to know what is metabolism. Metabolism is a term that is used to describe all the chemical reactions that are involved in maintaining the living state of the cells and the organisms metabolism can be divided into two categories one is uh, catabolism and another one is anabolism catabolism is uh, the breakdown of molecules to obtain energy and anabolism is the synthesis of all compounds needed by the cells okay so let's start the from today like uh, another characteristics of life is metabolism so now we have studied about that what is metabolism all living organisms are made of chemicals these chemicals small and big belonging to various classes sizes functions etc are constantly being made and changed into some other biomolecules these conversions are chemical reactions or metabolic reactions. There are thousands of metabolic reactions occurring simultaneously inside our, inside our body or we can say in all living organisms. Be they unicellular organisms or multicellular. Every time a lot of uh, various reactions are taking place inside our body. All plants, animals, fungi, microbes exhibit metabolism. All these, uh, all living organisms exhibit metabolism. The sum total of all chemical reactions occurring in our body is metabolism. It includes both catabolism and anabolism. No non-living objects exhibit metabolism. Metabolic reactions can be demonstrated outside the body in cell free systems and isolated metabolic reactions outside the body of an organism performed in a test tube is neither living nor non-living whenever we uh, use uh, in laboratory conditions we do such uh, metabolic reactions uh, this cannot be a living one we can say it either living or non-living We cannot say it whether it is a living also and at the same time non-living also. Hence, while metabolism is a defining feature of all living organisms without exception, isolated metabolic reactions in vitro are not living things, but it is surely a living reaction. Because uh, the in laboratory condition, whenever we are doing such uh, metabolic reactions in the lab, we cannot say it a living neither non-living but we have to consider it that the reaction is a living reaction okay hence cellular organization of the body is the defining feature of the life forms perhaps Perhaps the most obvious and technically complicated feature of all living organisms is the ability to sense their surroundings or environment and respond to these environmental stimuli, which could be physical, chemical or biological. We sense our environment through our sense organs. Plants respond to external factors like light, water, temperature and other organisms, pollutants, etc. All organisms from the prokaryotes to the most complex eukaryotes can sense and respond to environmental cues. Here, all living organisms has the ability to
to sense their surrounding yeah we can also smell uh, whether any good things uh, is there or uh, whether a good perfume has been used or some rotten mangoes are there we can sense it even the plants also sense but the sensing of plant is a bit different because uh, they will sense on the basis of whether if it's a uh, drought condition the plant will uh, not be able to survive in that condition and due to lack of sunlight sorry lack of water the plant will die and the photoperiod affects reproduction in seasonal breeders both plants and animals and photoperiod is uh, that uh, is uh, that period of time in which the plant receives its definite light or the spectrum of light that is uh, needed by the plants for its regular process and uh, photo here means that photon or the discrete packets of light or we can say it that in easy term we can say the duration of light a plant is receiving okay the photoperiods affect uh, reproduction in seasonal breeders both plants and animals all organisms handle chemicals entering their bodies all organisms therefore are aware of their surroundings human being is the only organism who is aware of himself that is has self consciousness consciousness therefore being the definite property of living organisms so we can say that cons consciousness is another defining property of uh, living organisms when it comes to human beings it is all the more difficult to define the living state we observe patients lying in coma in hospitals uh, virtually supported by machine which replace heart and lungs the patient is otherwise brain dead the patient has no self consciousness are such patients who never come back to normal life living or non living in higher classes uh, we will come to know that all living phenomena are due to underlying interactions properties of tissues are not present in the constituent cell but arise as a result of interaction among the constituent cells similarly properties of cellular organelles are not present in the molecular constituents of the organelle but arise as a result of interaction among the molecular components comprising the organelle these interactions results in emergent properties at a higher level of organization this phenomenon is truly in hierarchy of organizational complexity at all levels therefore we can say that living organisms are self replicating evolving and self regulating interactive systems capable of responding to external stimuli biology is the story of life on earth biology is the story of evolution of living organisms on earth all living organisms present past and future are linked to one another by the sharing of common genetic material but to varying degrees yeah we can see that uh, from our early man period to this uh, 21st uh, century the evolution is uh, taken place yeah and about that one stimuli whenever we feel too much cold we can feel it uh, that you know when we see our hand we can observe it okay so thank you for uh, today and uh, on in our in next video we will start diversity in the living world thank you